Hey guys, so today I'm finally doing another three marker challenge and I decided to draw the picture before I even pick the colors. I could have waited till I picked the colors, but I thought this would be more of a challenge because, you know, I might get really weird colors and that won't influence the line art at all. So we'll see how this goes. Last time I got a green, a purple, and a burgundy and Oh, that was hard to work with. <laughs> so hopefully I get some better colors this time. The way I'm doing it is going to be a bit different because my markers are stored in a container like this. And I'm going to do what I saw Miss Carrie J do in hers is she pulled a marker out of each slot and then drew three from those. And it's all blind picks. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, there's so many grays, too, that are in separate slots. No! Okay, got the camera set up using a kneaded eraser. I'm going to use one hand as a guide, and then close my eyes. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be tricky. If I accidentally pull from the same square twice, I apologize. It just makes it more random. I have my colors here. I'm just going to mix them up a bit. Could be losing some here. Yeah. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay. Now, let's hope I pick some good colors. Okay. I'm going to take this. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm gonna take. Uh, <laughs> okay, this one. And this one. Okay. Colors chosen. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. So the colors we have are N1, which is neutral gray number one, RV55. And BV17, oh, that's a dark one. Um, that might actually work out kind of nicely because we have a light, a medium, and a dark. So, oh, okay. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead with this. Let's see what some of the other potentials were. Okay, I see. Cool. So my purple wasn't actually as dark as I kind of hoped. It wasn't that much darker than the pink. When trying to blend it with the pink, it feels darker, but when I have, say, a pink area of the drawing next to a purple area of the drawing, I felt like there wasn't enough contrast and value. It just felt like the purple was not dark enough. It's tricky when you have only this many colors, and even though it's a three marker challenge, it almost felt like a two marker challenge because the gray is not really a color, <laughs> it's just gray. And so it definitely feels like there's only two colors in the picture. So I am a little bit disappointed at that, but at the same time, I'm happy I got the gray because it turned out to be a really workable skin color instead of having to do like maybe blue skin or pink skin or like I did last time was green skin. So I at least got a color that could be passable as a, a neat skin color. Almost like she's made of marble or stone or something. I don't know, that wasn't what I was going for, but it works. But it didn't really work to add color elsewhere. So it almost feels a little plain with just the two colors, but I'm still overall quite happy with the colors I got, especially compared to my last three marker challenge. So, yeah, it was good. Her hair feels a little bit like Alexa. That Alexa picture I did, it was purple and pink hair, so it felt very similar, and hair over the shoulder. I was like, hmm, this feels familiar. But uh, like I mentioned, I made sure to do the sketch first so that I wouldn't be influenced by the color choices. So, yeah, for the hair, I just did my little flicking 
I, want, I don't really want to say feather blending because I wasn't really blending the colors. So just flicking the pen to make lines that start thick and end thin because it's kind of my go-to thing for hair. And then I just left some areas white for the highlights. And it's so hard when you don't have that in-between color and you want to be able to blend the colors a little bit and you just can't. Oh, that's the whole point of this challenge though, I guess. I actually get a little jealous of the people who get monochromatic schemes for their three marker challenges. I've seen two people get just like all the same color, like three shades of yellow or three shades of pink. And I'm like, you know, that's almost good <laughs> because it, well, it's easy in a way, even though it could be a little boring that it's monochromatic. Cause I guess part of the point of this challenge is to see what you can do with random colors. And I guess the funkier the color selection is, the more interesting it could be to watch. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah yes i quite like it i liked my sketch for this picture better than the inks can we just stop for a second insert picture of the sketch i mean this sketches always feel more lively than the line art but ugh, i just feel like the face looks better in the sketch but oh well oh just have to deal with it that's that's life when you ink things <laughs> So let's see. So yeah, I decided I wanted her hair to be pink with the purple shading. And then so I thought, I just kind of thought that I wanted the bodice to be the darker color and lighter on the sleeves. And then for the skirt, I wasn't sure if I wanted to leave it white and just do some gray shading, but I thought that was looking a little boring. So I decided I was going to actually do pink and gray stripes, which is how it sort of started out. And then I was like, nah, that looks bad. So I just made it pink all over with a bit of gray mixed in and uh, then some random gray blobs in the background and I like it I don't know as far as three marker challenges go I like this picture I think it's cute it's quite interesting so yeah I might recolor this someday using whatever colors I want you know not restricting myself to certain colors because I think it's cute line art so maybe someday you know, I always say that and then I never end up doing it, but it could happen. So yeah, it's fun. You guys, if you want, try out the three marker challenge. You don't have to be someone who makes YouTube videos. If you're just doing it at home, try it out. Or if you're using pencil crayons, do, do a three pencil challenge, do a three paint color challenge. I don't know how you go about selecting those if it's in like a palette pan thingy. Anyway. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Judy is sticking <laughs> to the surface because she has wire legs and so she's like burr, burr. Oh snap. I'm editing the vlog already even though I usually don't edit it till the next day. Just, I'm excited to edit the Judy clips. And I'm sad already looking at the old Judy and um, by the way her dress colors aren't permanent like I don't know if I'm gonna keep these colors because I